All right, so maybe you're interested in the brand new Nectar Hybrid mattresses, but which of the three is best for you? Well, we're gonna try and answer that for you in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm Messina.com, and we have a triple comparison of all the brand new Nectar Hybrid mattresses. We have the Nectar Original, this one right behind me, the Nectar Premier, and the Premier Copper. They all use the same naming structure as the all foam versions, but there's actually quite a bit different between these mattresses. So we're gonna talk about how they're similar, how they're different, why you might wanna get the original, the Premier, or the Premier Copper. We have a ton of information in the description to help you with that mattress search, including written reviews of all of these mattresses, other comparisons, best lists, and any discounts we can find to help save you some money. Let's start by talking about the policies you should expect should you order one of these three Nectar mattresses. And fortunately for all of us, they're exactly the same no matter which one you get. So they're all gonna come with free shipping. They all ship inside of a large box. The unboxing process is fairly quick and easy to do. We always recommend having at least one other person there to help you because the beds can get kind of heavy, especially if you struggle to lift things. One thing I do wanna mention for unboxing virtually any mattress, but especially ones like these that use memory foam, there's a really good chance that when you unbox it, it might look a little strange and that if you lay down on it, you might feel like it's extremely soft right out of the box. This is totally normal. It just takes a couple days for the mattress to fully inflate just because it's been wrapped in that plastic for so long. So if that happens, don't worry about it. It's totally normal. And all of these Nectar mattresses, you get a 365 night trial period. So you get an entire year to sleep on the mattress at home to decide if you like it and it suits your needs. If within that trial period you decide it's not really for you, you can return it and get a full refund. But if you wind up keeping the bed, which most people end up doing, you're looking at a forever warranty with all three. So Nectar definitely goes above and beyond the usual online mattress standard when it comes to these policies. Let's start talking about the beds themselves now. And the big thing you're gonna have in common with all of them is that now they all use coils. So you have the Nectar Original, Premier, and Premier Copper in all foam versions, and now you have them with coils. The other really big difference between the all foam versions and the hybrid versions is that the covers on the hybrids are not removable. On the all foam versions, the covers you could actually take completely off and throw them in your washer and dryer for a deep clean. On the hybrid models though, the covers are actually fully stitched on, you cannot remove them. So if you do get them dirty, you're gonna have to spot clean them. I really wouldn't worry too much about that. That is how you clean the vast majority of mattress covers if you happen to get them dirty. The Nectar Originals having washable covers like that is actually a somewhat novel feature. Having coils on all three are gonna give you a few other things. Namely, it is gonna be more durable and supportive over the long term. We pretty much always recommend if you're a heavier person somewhere in the 250 pound plus range, that when you're shopping for a new mattress, it should be one with coils. Coils just have more long-term support and durability. You'll probably be fine on an all foam mattress for a little while, maybe like three or four years. But obviously you want your mattress to last longer than that considering all of these beds come with forever warranties and the minimum you should expect when it comes to warranty is 10 years. And a mattress is a pretty expensive investment so you obviously want it to last a long time. So if you are heavier, I would recommend getting a coil mattress like one of these. Having coils are also gonna improve the airflow on these beds in comparison to their all foam counterparts and help them sleep a bit more temperature neutral. Obviously, if you're looking at a steel coil in comparison to dense support foam, there's gonna be less surface area for air to travel through. So the airflow on a coil bed is just gonna be pretty superior in comparison to an all foam bed. So you get that as a bonus, and the beds in general are just gonna be a little bit more responsive, some more than others, which we'll get into. Let's start talking about the overall feels of these mattresses, and there's actually quite a bit of difference here. So the Nectar Original, this one right behind me, manages to maintain that traditional dense memory foam feel that you find on the original Nectar mattress in the all foam version. So you're gonna lay down on this bed and you're slowly gonna start to sink into that top layer of memory foam that's gonna conform to your body shape nicely. And when you relieve pressure from that foam, it'll take a decent amount of time to snap back into its original shape. This is definitely the more traditional feel of memory foam that you would normally associate with a memory foam bed. The feels of the Premier and the Premier Copper though are quite a bit different. So on the all foam versions, we did note that the Premier and the Premier Copper didn't feel as traditionally dense memory foam as the original. You still get that nice sink in body conforming quality you'd expect from memory foam, but it's much more responsive. So when you leave pressure from it, it snaps back into shape much more quickly, which makes it a bit easier to rotate between sleeping positions. Now, some people prefer this style of memory foam. Some people prefer the more traditional feel. You just have to decide that for yourself. However, with the addition of coils on the Premier and the Premier Copper, there's definitely more of a responsive feel and they don't actually feel all that much like memory foam anymore, especially in comparison to their all foam counterparts. 
So I would almost describe the feel of the Premiere and the Premiere Copper to be more neutral as opposed to memory foam. You'll still notice that memory foam is there a little bit, but it's not gonna be as pronounced as it is on the original and the all foam version. As someone who doesn't love memory foam all that much, I actually find the Premier Hybrid and the Premier Copper Hybrid to be extremely comfortable. However, if memory foam is what you're seeking, then that might not really be a pro. One thing I do appreciate about the original Nectar Hybrid is that it does manage to be a true memory foam feeling bed with coils. There aren't actually that many of them. A lot of times when a mattress adds coils, the memory foam feel kind of balances out, but this one manages to maintain it. So you have quite a few options when it comes to the feel of your bed with these Nectar hybrids. Let's start talking about firmness now. And the firmness of the Nectar original is gonna be the exact same as the all foam version. So you're looking at about a medium firm on our firmer scale with this mattress. So it should be a really nice option for back sleepers, stomach sleepers, and certain combination sleepers. If you're more of a side sleeper, I would definitely recommend going with one of the Premier or the Premier Copper. The Premier is closer to a flat medium, so it should work pretty well for everybody. And on the all foam version, we found the Premier Copper to be slightly firmer than the Premier. But on this one, I think they're virtually the same. Both the Premier and the Premier Copper should work pretty well for all sleepers, including side sleepers. Again, I actually think the Premier and the Premier Copper are super comfortable, very accommodating. And I think a lot of people, especially couples, will really like them because they have more of an accommodating feel and an accommodating firmness. The other really noticeable difference between the original, the Premier and the Premier Copper is the amount of cooling elements in the mattresses. So on the original, there's really no active cooling element to speak of. I think because it uses coils and the gel memory foam it uses on top is plenty breathable, it should do just fine at sleeping temperature neutral. Nectar likes to say their original mattress sleeps cool, but there's really nothing that's gonna actively cool you down while you sleep with this bed. However, I don't think temperature is gonna be a huge concern. If you do want something more active cooling though, I think the Premier Copper is probably the way to go. If you lay down on that mattress, you will notice the cover is noticeably cool. Supposedly, the copper infused memory foam on top does help leach away heat somehow. I'm not really sure that I buy that, but the cover itself is cool to the touch more so than the Nectar Premier. And obviously since Nectar's doing a good, better, best model with these three mattresses, there's gonna be a pretty significant difference when it comes to price. The Nectar Original Hybrid is gonna be $900 after discount. The Nectar Premier is gonna be $1,300 after discount. And then the Premier Copper is going to be about $1,700. So about a $400 price gap between each mattress. Plus if you purchase one of these beds, it should come with some free accessories like sheets, pillows, and a mattress protector. I'm not really sure if these prices are going to be the same going forward. These beds are pretty brand new and mattress brands do change their prices somewhat regularly. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on these beds. However, the price gap should remain somewhat the same. And that leaves us with the question, which one of these beds should you think about getting? And fortunately, I think there's enough different about these beds that that question is actually pretty easy to answer. If you're looking for something with a more traditional memory foam feel, then the original Nectar Hybrid is the way to go. It manages to maintain that dense memory foam feel that is very unresponsive that some people out there are really looking for. If you're looking for something softer, then the Nectar Premier is gonna be your better option. It doesn't necessarily have that traditional memory foam feel, but I do think it is generally quite comfortable. And if you're looking for something that is also generally comfortable, but you want more active cooling elements in your mattress, you just want something more luxurious, then I think the Nectar Premier Copper is gonna be your best bet. With Nectar's Good Better Best model, they do just enough, in my opinion, to make them equally distinct from each other. And I think that's really gonna be your main deciding factors. But let us know what you think. Which of these three mattresses would you wanna select? Let us know. And if you have any additional questions, write them in the comments as well, and I'll do our best to answer them. If you found this video at all helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're doing our best to provide you with the best information to help you with your mattress search. And so we really appreciate it. Again, tons of stuff in the description to help you with your mattress search, including full written reviews, best list comparisons, and most importantly, some discounts to help save you some money. But that's enough for me. This is Owen Messina at home. I'll see you in the next one.